Welcome to Yellow Brick Road, I am Jordan, and today, tonight, today, I'm talking about Bill Maher, the ultimate hack. He is a super hack. I'll get more into that, but first, please consider donating to Devin's Journey to Recover. The GoFundMe link is in the description box. Click that link, read the story, check out the other donations, then make a donation yourself. None of the money goes to us, it goes to charity help someone basically stay out of jail apparently now that i found out about medical debt collectors so please help out if you got five dollars laying around or more please donate it to devin's journey to recovery the gofundme link in the description box all right so here goes the hack uh, he's officially the hack of all hacks because people used to believe that he was on their side of things right through the George Bush era, he might have even seemed like a hero to, to certain people. But when things, when the political scene starts changing, you can see you can see uh, Bill Maher for what he is, which is a hack, super hack. Some people think he's like a like rich elitist, ignorant, like maybe. But when he says shit that I'm about to play, it's like he's full on establishment shill type individual at least it sounds that way and all right, all right let's get into it so this is bill maher hacking it away i'm sorry this is Jeff. oh please forgive me the uh clip is a bootleg version i found on youtube so the camera angles are going to be weird <laughs> And I say this as a former CIA officer, what leadership climate is set from the top. This president from the very beginning has been attacking his own institutions, the CIA, the intelligence yes. community, the Department of Justice, the FBI. And one of the hardest things for me, I did a bunch of town halls after I came out for an impeachment inquiry. The hardest thing for me was hearing people say that the president had to go to foreigners to investigate his rivals because he couldn't trust his own FBI and his own CIA. Do you know how crazy? Probably easy that is these people sure. wake up every single day and protect the country hey. and and they do it like with their heads down no right. to the grindstone and it, it it is one of the most difficult things for those of us who have worked in the it, service you know Senator just to comment about what this chick just said it's like don't you guys create a shitload of problems too like this whole this whole Islamic extremist terrorist thing didn't you guys like create that because you were being super smart. Some shit the public can't handle. So you got to do it behind closed doors. Oh, the, the drug problem in this country? So, oh, didn't you guys create that? Weren't you guys bringing drugs in? Interesting. Very interesting. Are you, aren't you propping up, like, you know, what are they called? Like, narcos in Mexico? Drug dealers in Colombia and wherever else? Like, you guys create the problems, most likely. Or you play a large role in creating the problem. So when you say, we're protecting the country. Yeah, from the problem you created. Dipshits. Probably be better off without these people doing, working in those places. Say, hey, start out as like a, a shopkeeper or something first. You won't handle the money. You'll just like, maybe maybe a janitor. Just, you know, clean the floors or something first. Start there. See if we can trust you with a fucking broom in your hand. But anyways, going on to the hack, Bill Maher. I think it is not normal. A Republican senator. Said that. Forget the audio. Senator Ron Johnson. This is a Republican said they asked Chuck Todd asked him, "Do you trust the FBI?" No. It's you like it's the like the coach of the so, team. Exactly. That, and when I saw that sounds like the normal population was with that too. I'm thinking these these other politicians that are saying these things about the intelligence community. I'd say like 90 plus percent of them are just uh, feeding off of what the populace is doing. All you gotta do is go through the internet, go through YouTube. You know, don't go through MSNBC and Fox News and all that shit. Look at actual people making content on YouTube and you'll see like, they don't trust the FBI. 
They don't trust the CIA. They don't trust these uh, intelligence uh, services, whatever they're called. They don't trust those guys. Why would they? But Bill Maher will say this on his show because, fuck, he is a hack and he is a shill, but he's really stupid. He's a lot like Tim Pool. Like, like you seem like you're in this, you pander for money. Like, you pander to get an audience to make money, but you, you're really dumb at this. So, it's so blatant that it's, like, mind-blowing. Anyways, here we go. Oh, this guy, it's just- Bill Taylor, you know, he's just, I've seen so many of these guys, even Comey, who obviously rat-fucked the election with that letter, but I don't... Yeah, it's more like, you know, WikiLeaks. I think he did it on purpose. I don't know. I think he's a straight arrow and and straight and Clapper and Brandon, all these straight arrows and Bill Taylor. And I just what I worry about is how many more of them are left. These deep state heroes. I feel like little by little they're getting rid of all of them, and then it's just going to be the Bill Bars and the Stephen Millers and the lackeys. Let me give you and the Gerbils. Give a little. The lackeys and the Gerbils. <laughs> what the freak? <laughs> He just called uh, John Brennan and James Clapper heroes, deep state heroes. He literally said deep state heroes. That's absolutely unbelievable. Maybe people did a video on this before, like other YouTubers did a video on this, but I haven't heard anyone talking about this. This is an episode from last week, and you let, like, he fucking said that out loud. Deep state heroes. And then he said Goebbels talking about, you know, Trump's guys. And this is weird, man. This is very weird because, once again, if you listen to a guy like Tim Pool, who goes off about, oh, the crazy wild leftist, their leftist ideas and socialism. And he says, but he says something like, Bill Maher gets it. And he's the one calling Trump's team Nazis. He's the one praising the intelligence community. He's the one... Uh, selling the Russia narrative. But but he's moderate. Once again, Tim does not Tim does not know, you know, political uh you know, ideologies on the political spectrum. He thinks moderate means it's like ah, I like, you know, my coffee, you know, black but just maybe a tiny bit of sugar. That's moderate. He he thinks like your your temperament that's what he thinks moderate means. <laughs> so he's accept- so he accepts a guy like uh, Bill Maher who complains about woke culture, but who openly advocates for the CIA and the, the deep state deep state heroes, and calls Trump a Nazi Russia lover, Nazi Putin lover. <laughs> That's unbelievable. Holy shit. And I bet Tim Fool fans would tell me like, oh, he's, he's, you know, he's a leftist. He's on the left. He just doesn't know any better. It's like that dude is pandering to you for your views because it makes him $70,000 a month. <laughs> Seriously. All right. That's it for me. Once again, Bill Maher is the... I'd call him the... Probably the biggest hack on mainstream television. He's probably the biggest hack because of the reverse. Right? He literally had Julian Assange on his show. But all of a sudden, is he talking about him? No. Does he know that Assange would be a part of the Russia narrative that he sells every fucking week? Doesn't mention Assange. He's a super hack. Those are the worst types when they pretend to be on your side. Like Barack Obama, like pretending to be like this uh, political progressive that's going to change things in the country. Or Donald Trump, who's this man's man, politician, populist politician who's going to change the country and drain the swamp. Those are the worst types. And Bill Maher seems to fall right into that class. All right, that's it for me. Please subscribe if you feel like. Comment, agree, disagree. Sorry for the bootleg video, but fuck it. You heard it. You heard it loud and clear.
who cares if the camera angle changes every so often. Uh, so yeah, comment. You can do a fan request. You can, as long as you keep it like less than 15 minutes and it's not some troll shit, I will, I will react to your video. Also, please donate. Devin's Journey to Recovery. Please donate. None of the money goes to us. It goes to that charity for one of our subscribers and his wife to help them pay medical bills. Because we don't have single payer. And if you don't agree with single payer, then you must agree with charity. So you can donate at Devin's Journey to Recovery. Go find me link in the description box. And with all that said, give this video a thumbs down. Say you want to get him.